God bless you. I'm reading from the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 14 and verse number 4 in the Message Bible. The one who prays using a private prayer language certainly gets a loss out of it. But proclaiming God's truth to the church in his common language brings the whole church into growth and strength. When you speak in tongue, the language of tongue is the language of power. Nothing brings God's power as much as when you speak in the Holy Ghost. The Acts of Apostles chapter 1 verse number 8 that says you shall receive power when the Holy Ghost has come upon you. And then you will be my witness uh, in Jerusalem and Judea and to the utmost part of the world. The power come by the coming of the Holy Ghost. So the coming of the Holy Spirit to you at your spiritual birth is the coming of power. But the power is put to play. The power is put in motion when you speak in tongue. One of the most important way to release the power of God in on any situation is learning how to speak in tongue. He's learning how to do it as often as possible. He's making it not just uh, an interlude, like, okay, I just finished one prayer. Before I go to the next one, let me just speak in tongue. No. Speaking in tongue is the language of ever, and that's why the scripture call it a private language. The one who prays using a private prayer language. God gave you a private coded prayer language and that prayer language is the source of setting the power of God in you in motion. The more you speak in tongue, the more powerful you become. In fact, speaking in tongue is like spraying a perfume. You're spraying it. That's when he finds his fragrance and his expression into wherever you are directing the prayer into. So, our prayer language is given unto us in order to cause our power into motion. So, when you want to release the power of God upon your life, your health, your career, or what have you, your office, your home, just keep speaking in tongue. The more you speak in tongue, the more power you release into your environment. I'd like you to hear what Romans chapter 8 verse number 26 in King James Version has to say. Likewise, the Spirit also had our infirmities, for we know not what we should pray for as we ought to. But the Spirit itself maketh intercession for us with groaning which cannot be uttered. Every one of us are not as powerful as we should be in place of prayer. In fact, you can be an effective prayer person or Christian all by yourself by your knowledge, by your own passion. No, 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 no. It takes the coming. It takes the intervention of the intercessor, which is the Holy Spirit, to make it happen. And the point at which that intercession comes with groaning that cannot be uttered is when you speak in tongue. So, speaking in tongue is a big way to release the power of God that is already inside of you. It takes care of infirmities, yeah. Whatever takes care of infirmity must be powerful. So, speaking in tongue takes away infirmity from every area of our life. The Holy Spirit makes it a session. I want to hear how New King James Version. Put this Romans chapter 8, verse number 36. It says, The Holy Spirit makes it a session for us in groaning that cannot be uttered in articulate speech. So, English, your local languages, your dialect cannot be as powerful as speaking in tongue. I'd like you to write on that video today. Speaking in tongue is releasing the power of God inside of you. God bless you. Have a wonderful week.